Death be not proud. Well, I'm crazy. Those fucking Hobbit movies were boring as hell. All it was was a bunch of people walking. Three movies of people walking to a fucking volcano. You smell that in there? That's arrogance coming to the world of Lord of the Rings for the first time. This is our expert, Felix. He's going to be walking me through the game. We have, what was it, 750 points? 750 point game. Today. Of uh, Mordor, or the Moranin guys, versus the elephant people. What are they called? The Southern? Yeah. The Grand Army of the South. The Grand Army of the South. All right, elephant people, coming your way. What are the cavalry guys called? So we've got 12. These are the actually the uh, uh, raiders, raiders, but today they're going to be run as serpent riders. Serpent riders. Serpent okay. riders. So the difference between the two is the serpent rider is more of an elite model, but since they're not available on the website, and you buy them one at a time for twenty bucks a model. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd Sounds rather like just, Games Workshop. Yeah, I'd rather just sixty dollars for these Abaddon. guys for fifty bucks. I think for twelve of them. <laughs> yeah, and then you got the. So we have the War Mumak of the Far Harad, with the uh, captain on top, and then twelve archers. Twelve archers. And then the last guy we have is Suldan the Serpent Lord. Okay. Sounds good, and that is the Grand Army of the South. Grand so I am taking a war band with an orc captain, and that's 14, and uh, we got a troll, we got good old Witch King, and another troll with another band of 14. And uh, what's the scenario today? You want to grab that car? So today, we'll just do hold ground. Hold ground, okay. So the armies will be split up, and they'll come in on random board edges, and the objective in the center and it's all around holding the objective in the center and killing your opponent. Well, there's the objective in the center. There all you right. go. Perfect. Wizard's Tower. So after a little bit of deliberation, Felix was going to come on here and trample those guys, but he decided to be nice. He came up over here because the other guys did not get to come on, and uh, he's in shooting range. So it's 24 for bows, right? It's 24 inch range for bows. Okay. It's direct line of sight to the model. So because right. I have guys on the other half of the elephant, you going for the trolls or shoot? Nope, I'm gonna shoot at the little moran and orcs. So or little moran looking, and orcs. Okay. We're looking at two, four, six, seven, eight, nine guys that can nine see. Nine guys. In All the right. Range. You're gonna learn how shooting works here. So he's got to roll. What do you need to roll? Your okay. ballistic skill minus one. Nope. For the for the purposes of the howda, even though the elephant has moved, I take no negatives unless the models in the howda have moved, which they have not. Right. So because they're stationary, they don't need to. Uh, they don't take any negatives. So no negatives. Now, normally, because it's a skirmish game, I'd roll one at a time to save time. We're just gonna roll all of them. Roll all of them. Yeah. We'll start any killing from this end and slide that way. Okay. So he's gonna roll so all that. He four needs fours. To hit. And he got three of three them. Three hits. Now, okay. because they are poison arrows, I can reroll ones to wound. So strength of two versus your defense, which those two sixes are probably gonna wound you. Yep, those two sixes are gonna wound me. So strength of two. The defense of the Moran and Orc, I believe, is six. If they've got a shield, it's a six. It's normally a five. It's normally a five, Did so you... the shield makes it six. Okay. So that means I need sixes to wound you. So I have two wounds on the Orcs, which, should, which with no save for the Orcs, that'll just kill two Orcs. All right. And that was a 200% more effective shooting phase than I was expecting. <laughs> All right, so first blood. There you go. As far as turn two is concerned, I got priority. I moved him over here. We kind of just looked like that. He moved away from me. And then those guys had to come on there because he rolled a three and I got the pick. So I guess he's going to unify his forces before hitting the tower, but you know, I, like you know, what? I, okay, whatever, I'm gonna take the tower and then good luck trying to push the trolls away from it. There we go, that's my mentality. We'll roll priority again and here's a one. Three. Ooh, two, I keep beating you by one. back to the Mordor. Dart on me, but then Black Dart failed to actually wound the elephant. So we didn't wound it with Black me. Dart, but he is going to try to shoot the beast out from under me, which will suck. So go so ahead. So now we're going to try to shoot the Witch King. So everybody that can see him is everybody. So 12 so I've shots. I've got 12 bows. I'm just going to grab these other dice. Okay. Okay, so we are looking for fours. Fours and then sixes. You can choose what you're going to shoot at, right? 
Okay, for shooting, no, in melee I could choose to either hit your, hit the fell beast or your guy. So right now we have what is called an in the way for shooting. Okay. So I need to determine if the arrows hit your beast or, or your character. Okay. okay. Now because the fell beast has a special rule, one to four hits the fell beast, five and six hits the witch king. Here come a bunch of five and sixes. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say a bunch of fives. You need sixes. I'm defense eight with him. So, so we need sixes here. Let's get see if we can box car it again right here. Nope. nope. So nothing there. No ones to re-roll either. The and now against arrows. the fell beast, the armored fell beast. So uh, five or sixes. Those ones are against the witch king. Defense seven. Yeah, those were well against the witch king. I need more than sixes. I guarantee it. You need. A, he's a defense of eight. I need sixes and then fives again yeah. after. So against defense seven, I need sixes and then fours. So sixes, I get none and no ones to reroll. So no wounds. No wounds. But a bunch of arrows went flying. Looks like I'm gonna have to fly away from that thing now. <laughs> <laughs> like I tried. <laughs> and then uh, he heroic marched over there and that was all of turn two. So we go into priority again then, huh? Yep. So no one's fighting. I got a four. Oh, I got a okay. one. Priority goes to me. All right. Okay. So I'm Here, getting charged. Remember I told you about heroic move. Right. You can move before me if you declare it. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. So I will. So if you declare heroic move with him, you're going to expend a might. Expend a might. you have the chance of going before me unless I declare a heroic move. And then it goes to a roll off to see who okay. goes first. I'll declare a heroic move. You'll declare the yep. heroic move with him. I will declare a heroic move with the elephant to see if we can uh, get you. Okay, so it so goes now, to... because I'm priority, okay, I roll the dice instead okay. of you. On a one, two, three, it goes to me. Four, five, six, it goes to you. Okay, let's hope for this. <laughs> You've been rolling a lot of fives and sixes, so let's see it. Ah, yes, I get to run away. <laughs> so I will go away a full twelve back towards my mob over here with the captain in it. All right. So to summarize turn three, I moved away. He shot at me again as he moved closer to the tower here. Uh, did nothing to the Witch King. And uh, that in the way seems to be working out for me pretty good. Moved him into the forest. We were hoping to trap the elephant down here where all my guys were, but he saw through that. And he, I, I thought, <laughs> he's thought of everything, nothing I can do. And those guys moved closer. So I moved away from him, body blocked with a troll. Because I don't think he'll be, you won't be able to fit right here, huh? Not, I'd have to go through the troll to tr trample those guys. But I can always just trample these guys. He's going to trample those guys. <laughs> All right, but he's going to shoot me. I did, however, hit his elephant with a black dart. Yeah. That does bring me down four hit points. Four, so, four will. Uh, so, so you're at 16 will so I'm left. I'm at 16 will left, and if I hit zero, I'm automatically dead. So I have to be very careful in these next couple phases of how I fight with him. And hopefully the orc and his captain can take these guys on. So, uh, I've, I've seen in the battle reports cavalry charging Moran and orcs. They don't do too well. No. I don't know. It's, it, they, Moran they may... and orcs are a lot tougher than most other infantry. So you stand Except a good chance a guy from of repelling. Isengard are tougher than they are, right? I think they're as tough as Urukai from oh, Isengard. God. If I remember right, but with the shield and everything like that, you stand a halfway decent chance of surviving that. And we got alerts in that squad. It's not real alerts, but we'll, we'll pretend it is. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, so for shooting, who are you shooting? <sighs> so we'll split it half and half. So six of them will shoot this, the Witch King. And then six of them will start picking off orcs. Hey! Okay, let's see what happens to the orcs real so quick. So here we're shooting at the orcs. We're looking for fours. Boop, boop, boop. Two, three. Terrible. And looking for sixes. Nothing. Nothing but I'm rerolling ones for the poison, poison arrow. Arrows. Nope. And another one. So to summarize, for movement and shooting, it kind of looks like a jumble there. Uh, he charged me all the way with his cavalry. My orcs have moved over there to kind of defend the flank from those two. He shot in combat at the fell beast, <laughs> killed his own horse. Killed my own horse. So that that's, nice. that's why that guy's on foot. <laughs> but remember, I did hit him with the black dart. And I've only got one might point left, according to this paper yep. here. So well, uh, go ahead and do your first fight. You're going to hit the uh, elephant into the fell beast, or can you not even do that? Remember, the fights break down into the smallest possible fight. So because I charged your fell beast with a lone guy, 
Your fell beast in the Witch King fights the one guy by Oh, gay! So, All right. we'll start, because I have priority, I choose where we start the fights and go through the fights in, in whatever order I okay. deem fit. Now, be, before we start that, I have priority, so you get to decide if you want to spend any might on any heroic actions. The different heroic actions you can do, heroic combat. This is where you can spend your last point of might. If you call heroic combat with him, his combat happens first. But and I... then he gets to move and join another combat and we restart the fight phase. So you could use heroic combat to kill that guy, put him back in the fight with the elephant, but then you lose the ability later to heroic move and run away should I get priority. You know what, the way things are going, like I, I just think I might want to kill that one guy because I'm going to need the troll and the witch king to bring this 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 bad ombre down. So, we'll we'll do that. We're going to so use the heroic combat. The last might point. All okay. right. I will also call a heroic combat with he's down to 1 because I used one for the march with uh Suldan the Serpent Lord. So now we go to the roll off, which I have priority. So 1 2 3 I fight first, 4 5 6 you fight first. So I will get to do my fight. Then you'll do your fight, and then we'll finish after. But I'll get to move into another but combat. But you'll get to move into another combat if you kill the one little guy, which I pretty much guarantee you okay. will. <laughs> so in the combat, the orcs actually killed three horsemen with the help of the captain and everything. And then uh, we lost two for our troubles. They're over there in loser land. And then, lo and behold, the six orcs actually won this fight and put another wound on the Mumak. But we still got pushed back. And we're still dueling this one guy. He went for a barge, failed. Now we roll for priority on camera. Oh, I got a two. There's a one. Two. So you went second. You win priority. Oh, okay. All right. Evil fighting the actual evil. We'll see what I want to do. And this is what? Turn, turn five or six. Turn five now. You yeah. lose track because you'll go as, until one army's at 25%. Oh, so. wow. That's, that's we, brutal. We can go for a couple hours. Wow, this. this is cool, though. <laughs> So finally, we're on turn five here. We're gonna film a decent fight. The Witch King here is gonna use his Morgul Blade on the elephant. Here we go, bam! And I got so one you five. Got a five high, okay? My elephant will get three swings. And there's a six. And I oh. have a six. Now and you have no might, no so you might. have no way of winning this combat. Right. Because you have these orcs, you will also get dice for these orcs, mm -hmm. but my elephant's fight value is higher than your orcs, so even if your orcs get a six, I will win the fight. Which you means you do fight. not get to kill my elephant. What about right now. the fell beast? The fell beast, you you choose either the fell beast oh, or Oh, okay. Him. All right. So and I should have saved that one my point. You should have saved the one my. But wait a minute, he would have got trampled if I didn't use it, huh? If you didn't, if you didn't use it, then you probably wouldn't have gotten trampled because you still won priority. Right. So, mm. but my elephant is lucky and she'll live another turn. <laughs> uh, okay, so even if I win the combat, I can't do anything. So okay. even if you rolled sixes with these guys, I would still win the combat because I rolled the six. Okay, so do we all get pushed away up. or? So everybody will get pushed away. The and you're going to take wounds against And then everyone. I'll get to swing at something I want to swing at. Oh, okay. So you get to swing at the Witch King. And now I'm going to swing at the Witch King. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> So the elephant is strength nines, and your defense is eight, Yep, right? so you need fours. So I'll need fours, okay? One. One wound, okay? Now you have three fate. You can expend fate as much fate as it takes to stop that wound, but do them one at a time so the first one saves. So you'll okay. save with the first one, so you're down to two fate, and you saved your Witch King from dying. Okay, sounds fair. <laughs> All right, so that's that fight. All of this is wrapped up in a big package, huh? Yep. At least the orcs didn't take any damage. I did try a transfix and that failed, and that's where my I will- I got lucky and saved that. Okay, so over here, we'll do some fights. So after movement turn six, troll, uh, Mordor one priority. And uh, this one little dude came up here. Now I have to fight him, uh, <laughs> which sucks, but I'm going to squash his ass anyway. But he decided to go out and help the captain. We charged all over here so we'd have some good duels, maybe bring down some more casualties here. But we do have a troll and the witch king. I, um, I have used eight of my will points, so I'm looking pretty good, right? At this point, yes, because I've yet to be able to get any trampling off. You're looking good. If and I we tr already trampled half your army, it would not be, be looking different. good. And this thing not being able to move around, also pretty good because if we do win the fight, 
it dies, right? If you win the fight and the Witch King actually wounds it, it will automatically die because of the Morgul Blade. Ready. Which will literally kill half my army. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, uh, let's see here. We'll go into some... Shooting first. Shooting first. Alright. Okay. Oh, you're gonna shoot at yourself, huh? I'm gonna shoot at... The Morin and Orcs down here to try to remove some dice from your... Spear attacks. Good move. Your, All uh, right. your thing, because I don't... Blam. So turn seven, he got me down to within less than 16 models, killed all of those guys in a trample, and um, now he's eating to do two wounds, two wounds to, the troll. to the troll. Didn't and quite the, kill the troll, unfortunately. That one passed its uh, morale check, and then because these guys are fighting, they're not going to run away. So he gets to move now, and that'll finish your movement, since so he, he passed his Okay, courage. so I can just hit this. So if you want to charge him into the elephant, charge him into the elephant. Might as well try. God. And then... So now we'll go to shooting. Now we'll go to shooting. Shooting and then combat. Okay. You're going to try to finish off that troll that's wounded? We'll try. We'll okay. see if I can uh, shoot myself in the foot. Because the elephant is in combat with your guy. So I could hit my elephant too. All right. <laughs> so four ups. Oh no. That's a good one. Really good one. Better than usual. One, twos, and threes hit my elephant. Seven. He hit seven times. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> One's going to hit the troll. Let's see. You win the so troll. the troll. What's Do the troll's the troll. defense? Seven. Seven. You need to... So I need a six and then a four. I'm going to laugh if I kill him with his one arrow. A six? No. Okay. Damn. All right. And, and then, then my then... elephant that wounded your... So my elephant's defense is eight. So I need a six and, and then, then a five. five. No. Nope. Okay. okay. So he didn't hurt my elephant. So there's my... There's that. Not, thankfully wasted arrows rather than okay. hurting myself. That would have sucked. And then that, that's so that now, big fight there. So now Let's... we'll go to combat. All right. So we got rid of uh, two and two. Two orcs died, two cavalry guys died. We put some wounds up on that big old two ma. Wounds. And then he lost the duel to the cavalry guy. <laughs> uh, and I only just didn't hurt you. <laughs> you only just didn't hurt me. So we got a, what do we got, roll off phase now? So priority for the Return next eight. Time. I got four. Ah, oh, I'm going to get it. it, yes. So, um, no tramples for me. No tramples for you, thank God. Uh, half your army <laughs> go boom. God. So I have to take, uh, what do you call it now? Courage. So now, before you start moving, you take a courage test because your army is broken, which means you're below so 50% models. So for the captain. So the captain will pass his will... courage. So every model within six inches of him will automatically pass courage. Okay. So that's every orc you got over there, it looks like. And now he will need to take his... So five, and the Witch King's courage is six. Is six, so he will pass, which means this troll will pass. And then, but that troll wounded will not. troll will pass. Five, six, so he'll because only of... just pass because his courage is four, right? Right. All right. So everybody passes with courage. So now you'll get to move. Now I'll get to move. And stop the elephant from moving again. God damn it! <laughs> if I'm lucky, god damn. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. Try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to break the elephant. He shot my troll, killed it, but I did transfix it. So here's everything I got. Hey, I want a duel. It looks like he's just gotta get a six, though. I think his fight value is higher than mine. Oh, no. So you'll so win that fight. I'll win that fight, and I just gotta do one wound with the so Morgul blade. So you just have to be able to wound me with the Morgul blade. And I get how many to do that? Three. And so you got three attacks. Your strength is four. Yay! My defense is eight, so you need sixes. No sixes, no time. One six with the Morgul blade. Throw the fuck with this. Suck it, Jabroni! These guys yeah, gotta the, fall. We'll take falling damage, <laughs> and the falling damage is going to kill them. The falling it's, it's damage is going to kill, to them. kill them. So for every... What was it? So, let's see here. It looks like four guys, five guys get to live. And after the after the big elephant fall down, go boom. They survived the fall, but just they, barely. They survived the fall, but just barely. And then, uh... That's what you get for shooting my trolls. And then uh, <laughs> over here we got some fights, but this is still turn eight. This is probably where it's gonna end. I'm gonna throw that guy. Let's do troll versus rider. Bam! Oh no! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you'll still win. win. <laughs> okay, let's see. So for hurling We're, we're going to hurl him. So hurling him, you roll a d3 and add the difference between strength values. So okay, three, 3 plus your strength. My strength on troll is 7. And my strength is 3. So you're going to hurl me 4 inches. <laughs> to there. That's cool. Knock him off of his horse, which he will be prone and not take any damage. So we'll get one turn out. Stick him there. But Ooh. now the hurl does... We're learning about Hurl today. So all models that he passed through, which is none. Hurled model suffers a strength three hit for each model he passes through, which is none. The Hurled model is just okay. That's fine. Oh. Just as long as he's on the ground. The nominated model will stop if it hits an obstacle or a model with strength six or, or, or higher. Both models will... Both the model and whatever it hits suffers a strength six. So I will suffer a strength six hit no matter what. Okay. So strength six to my defense of four, you're looking at three. So you Five. I killed, killed him. Yeah, just threw that guy over there. Bitch, slap your ass. You cannot harm me. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> All right. And then we got a bunch of fights over so here. Now we got the so horses to do fight. It. Killed one more cavalryman. Nobody else died except for another orc who lost a duel. And uh, basically, this is where the game ends. He's got a quarter of a quarter, right? I've got just one model shy of a quarter, so that will end the game at this point All and right. we'll tally score to see who wins. So... Right. Look, was so gay, I thought Sam was going to tell the little hobbits to take a walk so he could saunter over to Frodo and suck his fucking cock. I can't believe I lost. <laughs> I killed the elephant. I did, did the unthinkable. <laughs> I did the unthinkable. I went up there, suck it, jabroni. <laughs> So what happened is when he killed the elephant, all of the 12 archers in, in the howdah had to fall. And right. they took so many strength three hits for how far they fell. I managed to have, what is it, five guys survive the fall. And three of those five guys were and within range. three of range. those five were within range of the center objective. So once the game ends in this one, you just tally objective points. And because I had more models within six of the tower, I got Four three to points. three. Yes, four, four to three. three. You needed one more model to make it a tie. To make it and a then tie. you would have won with your one point that for you got for breaking me, for killing me, and then you being broken too. Because right. if you weren't broken, if I hadn't killed, what was it, two less models, then you would have gotten three points for that and it would have been a tie. <laughs> So oh, it was a God. very close game. That was my very first game of Lord of the Rings, and uh, hopefully we get to do this again, and maybe I'll, I'll bring out Rohan, see how hard the elephant just sort of smacks <laughs> them around, and then, oh, you're trampled, oh, you're trampled. <laughs> and, and then Theoden, will, he'll have that dour expression on his face as he gets trampled. As he like gets he trampled the, by the elephant. Like he did in the movie. Well, who knows, maybe we, I, all the Rohan guys have bows on, on Every, every Rohan horseman will have a bow. So you could have 12, 24 bows on the board and just flip me with arrows, like in the movie. <laughs> All right. We'll you, see what happens. But uh, that, now, can, you can trample the ghost guys, can't you? You can trample the ghost guys, but the ghost guys are harder to kill because they have a higher defense oh, yeah. than most normal troops. But then the ghost guys are great counters to the elephant because the ghost guys, with their special ability for their weapon, they swing against courage. They don't swing against your defense or your strength, your courage. And bad guys, particularly, have low courage. Well, that's good. So, the courage of the elephant, I think, is three or four. So, you're looking at the ghost guys only needing fours. Well, there you go. I'll be able to bring some ghost guys and, uh, you know, uh, ghost sword people. There we go. Anyway, as you know, YouTube has many features you can use to interact with. You can like the video, dislike the video, comment, or subscribe. Until I see you again, keep playing Lord of the Rings and stay metal, my friends.